I just got home from football practice. The little man was excited. What do we got? We got core four by four. All right. And open this. I love this. All right. What do we got? We got this. What is that? I don't know. It's the lower control arm. It's adjustable. Do you know what they do? What? We're going to show people in the video. Okay. So what the lower control arms do, they're down here. And if you can see how my spring's got a bow to it, that's from when you lift the Jeep up, this is hooked and it's stationary. So as you lift the Jeep up, this is hooked, your tires slide back up onto the Jeep. So what you do is you put the lower control arm in there and you adjust it out so it'll actually push your front tire back to center where it is and to straighten up your spring here. So as you can see, it's not a horrible bow, but definitely needs to be addressed. So what we're gonna first do is take the lower control arms off, um, bolt nut on each side of the lower control arm, and then um, we'll measure it based off of what the spec should be based off of this list, which I can post on the video, is a guideline. TJs and XJs are, are roughly the same. And then uh, once I get those other control arms out, what we're actually gonna do is jack the body of this vehicle up to where the wheels are off the ground that way you can get it lined back up to where it needs to be to do your fine tune adjustments. And of course, you'll probably need to get an alignment once that's done. Um, it's probably easier for the video if I was to take the wheels and tires off to do it. But since I've got enough clearance uh, underneath my Jeep, um, I don't, I'm not gonna do that just because I'm being freaking lazy. But um, this lower piece here, you see you got a bolt and a nut on this backside and then also down here in the front. You can see those are aftermarket uh, lower control arms, but they are not adjustable. So I can't uh, straighten out my wheelbase and, and put it back to center. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Okay, so jacked up the frame or the unibody. Um, got the lower control arm off on this side. I did kind of tell a story. I did have to take the tire off on this side uh, in order to get access because of the uh, gearbox and the hub. I uh, couldn't get clearance, so I had to take the wheel off uh, in order to put an extension on there and get that off. But as you can see, old control arms are off uh, right here. And we're going to get the new ones out, get them adjusted, and then uh, try to slap these back in. All right, these control arms are super, super beefy. Uh, they've got the Johnny joint end on it, which is awesome. You can see it's held in with a slip washer or locking pin, however you want to say it. Uh, jam nut. I mean, this thing is solid and, and beefy. Um, grease fittings, um, super excited on this. Um, what I've done is <clears throat> started as the base point. With these being adjustable, I may have to move them around uh, based off the lift that I've got um, from center of hoe to center of hoe, which is how they do the measurements on there. Uh, roughly, mine's supposed to be between, uh, depending upon what you look at, 16 to 16 and a half inches. Um, I'm going to go with the 16 inch uh, just to see how that does. Uh, of course, I can always adjust it. The only issue that I'm going to have is I'm going to probably have to ratchet strap uh, the front of the vehicle back forward in order to get the, the spring level, uh, which is what I'm going to use for my basis. So how I'm going to do my adjustment is once I get the lower control arms in, get the weight of the vehicle on it, you can see how, because there's no, there's no weight on it right now, my spring's back, which is exaggerated from where it normally is. But once I get it set back in, get it pushed it forward, get the actual load vehicle, the, the load of the vehicle on this, I want my, my coil spring to be straight. So that's the process. I've uh, got these adjusted. I'm gonna get them on and see where we go. Okay, so got the lower control arms on, adjusted. Um, just gotta tighten them. Um, tighten up the uh, jam nut. Best way to do that is try to put a piece of metal in here or a piece of wood. Uh, to keep this straight while you tighten down that jam nut so it uh, so the joint doesn't go cock out on you 
not going to lie. Um, looks a little better. I uh, still think I need to come out another inch or two. Um, full with that later on. But I did have to cheat a little bit. And in order to get the axle pulled back up to where I wanted it, uh, I ended up using the winch. So uh, kind of cheated a little bit, but it uh, it worked and it saved me quite a bit of headache. So it's uh, so what I did and it's so far so good.